Life's better here. Middle East Market has recently moved to its newest location right here in Bancroft. And along with it came the addition of Sidon Lebanese Grill. And you know with a marketplace attached, their food is going to be made with the freshest and finest ingredients. Saidun is a new restaurant that serves uh, Lebanese cuisine with uh, somewhat of a new twist, um, stone-fired pita bread and natural charcoal kebabs. We are back in the kitchen now and we are going to prepare one of your most popular traditional dishes here. Tell us what yes. that is. Uh, we're going to prepare fatouche. Fatouche is the most popular Lebanese salad. We use romaine lettuce, some small cut cucumbers. And these are all fresh? Yes, all fresh ingredients. Some radish, some peppers. Fresh cut parsley, some pita chips, sumac, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of a sour seasoning, and za'atar, which is a mix of thyme and sesame, and a homemade dressing that's made of olive oil, garlic, lemon juice, um, and some dried mint. So fresh ingredients make the best salads. And that seems a, a pretty large portion. Of it is, it is. The Lebanese cuisine is very popular for family style dishes. Our grilled chicken is marinated for 24 hours ahead of time. So after grilling our chicken breast, we cut them up into nice strips. There you go. Just garnish it with a little bit of parsley. And there you go. Well, the only thing I'm missing is a fork. Yes, <laughs> and we have that for you. How's that? Very good. I love the tang that comes through with the lemon and the dressing and the seasoning really comes through on that chicken. It's a great combination all together. For our second entree we're actually going to do a staple here with Lebanese food and that is kebabs. Yes, we're gonna be making a chicken kebab which we call shish tawuk, beef kebabs, and we're gonna be making something called shish kafta. So we're gonna start out with the chicken, white chicken breast that we cut into cubes, season and marinate for at least 24 hours. We season with a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, chicken seasoning that we make here in-house, and we also add some tomato paste. Oh, that's interesting. To give it some color. Um, we add a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, and a little bit of white vinegar as well. Best part of making this Get food your hands dirty. Is getting your hands mm -hmm. dirty. For our beef steak kebab, we use uh, beef tenderloin. These are nice, big portions. Yes. So these are seasoned a little yes. bit different now. Yes. So like I what said, do we put on here? Less and more with kebabs. All we do is salt, a little bit of black pepper, and just a drizzle of olive oil. And that's it? That's it. Only three ingredients for that one. Like you that's said, it. the flavor of the meat really yes. will come through at the Allow the flavor of the meat. For our kafta meat, we are going to use some fresh ground beef. Here we're gonna add some really small diced onions, a little bit of fresh cut parsley. We put a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. We use Syrian spice to mix up the kafta meat until it blends very well together. So after we marinate all our chicken, meat, and kafta kebab, uh, we put them on these skewers to get them ready for our charcoal kebab. kebabs and only one mouth. It's game time. What I like about each one of these meats is they have their own individual flavor, but yet they have that unique charcoal grill taste on right. every single one of them. Yes, they do. And of course, no Lebanese restaurant is complete without the fresh, hot pita bread served right to your table. And remember, if you have a favorite local dish that you want to nominate, you can head on over to my Facebook page or send me a tweet.